How's it going guys, XL Scopes, XL here today. Today I'm bringing you the brand new update for Xbox One. Um, if you guys remember a little while ago I talked about the media player update as it's coming in fall and stuff like that. And we weren't exactly sure when to see it and I predicted it was September. And we were kind of right. Um, today Xbox Live has announced that the September update that was planned for September released today. Yes, today. That is absolutely amazing. We just recently got the August update, maybe a week or two ago. This just show, shows how committed Xbox is to making this platform better. Like, I predict um, at, by the by Feb, March, maybe not March, maybe a little bit earlier than that, we're going to have so many crazy features on Xbox, and they're really, really are gonna step up with their game here and they're gonna have everything that we want on xbox so basically i'm gonna let you guys watch the video so i hope you guys enjoy and remember to like after you see the preview peace hi it's larry here of xbox lives major nelson i have some great news the september update for xbox one has escaped its designated month of september and is available right now in august go check it out now what can you expect let's take a look First up, the Media Player makes its official public debut. With the Media Player, you can plug in a USB 2.0 or 3.0 device and play your music, movies, and pictures. This includes dozens of supported file formats and we'll be adding more formats by the end of this year, including animated GIFs and MKV. Likewise, support for network DLNA playback will be added by the end of the year as well. Next, we have some changes to the party system that I think many of you will be happy with. Now, the party leader can not only require invites to join the party, but can also remove people from the party as well. We've also added a litany of updates to Smart Glass. You can now post status messages and comments to your activity feed and game clips. You can view threaded message conversations, We've even added the ability to record game clips directly from Smart Glass. Plus, Xbox One owners can now set their console to boot to TV. That means if your console is set to instant on, it will boot directly to television rather than the home screen. You'll find boot to TV in the startup settings. Another fan favorite request is the ability to delete multiple clips at once and upload. Now I love this feature, especially because I'll often record multiple clips and then I'll edit them together into a single montage. Now, I can easily clean up all the individual clips I use to create the montage so only my masterpiece remains. Another feature I really appreciate is the new bandwidth usage display. You can view this feature under network settings. It allows you to not only see how fast your network is downloading content, but also lets you track your console data usage. For more information on the update, check out Xbox Wire at news.xbox.com or my blog at majornelson.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on Xbox Live.